Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tech LT World. So today we are going to discuss about the topic 5G NR RRC states. So uh, let's start the topic. RRC states, that is radio resource control states for NR. As we know for NR, it has been defined three RRC states, RRC idle, RRC connected, and one more that is the new one that is RRC inactive. In LT there was only two like RRC idle and RRC connected. So this uh, basically this RRC inactive is the additional part uh, for NR. We can see I have illustrated with the diagram how this all three states are related to each other. So let's discuss on this. So here we can see like RRC uh, when UV is in you can say RRC connected mode. So uh, you can see it can move to RRC idle uh, by you can say with the RRC connection uh, release and can move back to the RRC connected with the RRC connection re-establishment you can say. And if you will consider about the RRC uh, NR RRC inactive. So inactive state it can move to the RRC connected also or it can move to the RRC uh, idle both way it can uh, move but the main point is this when our U will be in idle it cannot you can say go to the RRC inactive mode. So here is the uh, you can say the mar uh, mark point that you will uh, whenever the you will be in RRC idle it will uh, never move to the RRC inactive mode. So now let's uh, we can uh, go one by one to all the three states. So let's just start with the RRC idle. So we can we can see here when our uh, UV is in RRC idle to complete the cell selection and the cell re re reselection the system information is necessary and that system information UV read from BCCH and this system information also provides the information that is related to complete the RACH process and the RRC connection setup process. The UV is performing mobility triggered area updates to ensure that whether the UV is always reachable by AMF. So this AMF basically knows where to forward the paging message, the main function of AMF uh, at this particular time to forwarding the pages, paging message. Now UV monitors the PDCCH DCI format that is 10 by using the new RNTI that is PRNTI that is basically defined by the uh, DRX pattern discount uh, continuous reception we will discuss uh, more on this short short terms in any of the video coming video now this 5G TMSI TMC is used to address the UE within the paging meshes so this TMC is basically used for addressing the UV. Now 5G TMC is allocated by AMF. So these are you can say the work of AMF when it is in RRC idle. And as we know that to improve the security of 5G, it doesn't support MC based paging because 5G STMC is basically supported here. So for more security, the 5G NR is not uh, using this MC based, not supporting basically this MC based page. Now, this UV is unable to transfer the application data while in RRC idle. This is one more point that we need to uh, keep in our mind. Now let's go to the next state that is RRC connected. So RRC connected basically when the transfer of you can say the both application data and the signaling data that is between uh, the UV and the network 
is done in a connected mode only. We can see here. So application data is transferred by using the DRB and signaling can be transferred using the SRB. For DRB and CRB, we, uh, SRB we will uh, discuss more in other video because these are the small topics but uh, it's required to uh, uh, know in deep with these topics also. Now this CRNTI which is provided uh, it is provided by the basis station to address UV during rest procedure. Whenever the rest procedure is going uh, uh, to handle the rest procedure, the CRNTI is basically uh, you can say provided by our G node B to uh, provide uh, you can say to address where exactly the UV is. Now. AMF, what is the function basically AMF uh, used to do here? AMF maintains NG signaling connection with the base station. When we come to know, uh, come to, uh, know about UPF, this maintains the GTPU tunnel with the base station. And there is one more important function here, UV monitors control channel for the resource allocation when it is in RRC connected mode. And the URI uh, reports the channel state information that is CSI and it includes CQI that you know channel quality index, RI rank indicator, PMI precoding matrix ind indicator, LI layer indicator. The two new things uh, uh, term I have also gone through that is CRI that is CSI RS resource indicator and SSB RI that is SS or PVCH block resource indicator. So these are the small terms. Uh, we can go through this is small terms for our uh, more and deep knowledge. I will try to uh, prepare videos on this also when I will complete the main main topics. After that, I will uh, try to prepare uh, small videos on this also. So now let's go to our third uh, state which is added uh, in NR that is RRC inactive. So in this we can see like RRC context and the core network connection is kept in both the UV and the G node B in this RRC inactive state and the transition to connected state for the data transfer is fast. Uh, the main uh, you can say advantage of this RRC inactive in this transition uh, of the connected state to connected state the data transfer is very fast. Now the RRC inactive makes the device in sleep like an idle state but the mobility is handled through the cell reselection without involvement of network. This is the main key point of this RRC inactive state. So you can say it's a both combination of idle and connected state. So you can say to improve to improve the efficiency of the UV. We can say. So these are basically the three states. Go through the video, and if you have any additional point to discuss, you can add in a comment. Or you can go through uh, the Facebook page, uh, which the details I have given already. Uh, we can discuss more on that. So uh, please, you also go through the topic. Uh, mark my whatever the you can say the point which I have left, or which are uh, you can say incorrect. So please correct that, and uh, let's study together. Uh, so thanks for the today. Thanks for today. Uh, I will come with the next video. Probably the next video will be on uh, RATCH. So thanks for today.